Good evening. Thank you for for meet me here. Thank you for coming. This study is the name is growing God's grace. Let me begin with with pray. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come to you in the need of your grace and in the name and authority of your Son Jesus Christ, we ask you, we please meet me, meet us, and let, and let the meditation of your God Father be pleased to you, to you alone, and remove what is not father thank you thank you holy father amen let me share what happened in last friday in my job i am a, i'm a teacher of uh, early education so last friday When we were finishing our mother's car's project and we transitioned to our 15 minutes break of relaxing time before saying goodbye for the week, I asked, I asked to my young students, what do you like to be when you grow up? And I have many interesting responses, but one was special. This child extended her hand and gave me this card. Looks simple outside, as you can see, but inside is very rich. So let me share. And reads, Miss Mary, I want to be like you because you are magical, amazing, respectable, <laughs> important, awesome, nice, artful. Thank you for help, helping me to grow and learn. She said. We both smile. Our text, First Chronicles 9, 4, 9 to 10, reads, Jabez was more distinguished than his brothers, and his mother called him Jabez, which means pain. So Jabez prayed, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. He said, Oh God, O oh Israel, you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so I will be free for pain. And God granted his request. I remember in my early work with the Lord, when it was not the opportunity to grow, but to study. I enrolled in couple Bible studies group, but I have the desire, I have this desire hiding in my heart. I am keep asking when I can grow more, where I can go, how I can start. Please God show me. I need to do more. I need to grow. But most of the time I ended answering myself. Maybe it could be a mission to to Africa. 
could be interesting. So the time passed and this desire took a strong roots in my heart. It was happening with the student in class this Friday, last Friday. She, she touched my heart because she opened hers. The sincerity or purity of her thoughts reminds me that God is pleased with the sincerity of a pure heart. He knows our hearts. This desire began with me 10 years ago. And now I can see his providence, harmonic, beautiful, and overwhelming, working in my life. He has not sent me to Africa, but he has answered my prayers. right here in my country, in my city, in my own town. So my question to you today is, how will you open it, your heart to the Lord? Have you be consistent in your pursuit of growing, serving the kingdom of God? Do you desire to save him to serve him no matter the circumstance? Have you reached out the point and you walk with the Lord? When you deep desire is just to please him alone. As our test describes, Javes was an individual that knew his God. He said, my God of Israel. He was blessed with his Holy Spirit too, but he wanted more. He desired to be a blessing, not to a blessing to another, no a pain. So let me share with you that God is listening. Our God is actively listening, harmonic and beautiful. In the same way he has answered Jabez's prayers, he has answered mine, and he can answer yours. But he requires a pure heart. He was the sincerity of your heart. He wants all of you. He wants we can cling to him. Because the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ longs to pour out his blessings to us. So we must ask and pray in faith. We have to ask in faith with a pure heart. Remember that he is listening and he's present and his protection 
is there. Thank you, Father. You have shown us what is required. Jesus said, I will be with you until the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20 remind us. We praise you, holy name, Father. We know that we know that you are with us and that you are listening. Will you please, Father, refresh us with your Holy Spirit and take our hearts, make us pure. Thank you, Father. We ask in the name of our precious Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you.